Hey dolls, welcome back to my channel. Today I have this late 60s, sort of 70s look for you. I actually featured this jumpsuit in a previous haul. I got it from Fashion Nova. And then I recently purchased this Betty Page clothing top, sort of like a peasant top. And I really loved the combo together. I wore it in San Diego a couple of weeks ago and I received so many compliments on it. So I knew you all would love it as well. But before we get into today's video, I'd like to thank today's sponsor, Ibotta. If you have not heard of Ibotta before, Ibotta is a cashback rewards app. It is 100% free and you can start saving on all your favorite stores. All you do is download the app, find deals, and start scanning your receipts. When you scan those receipts, that money will be saved onto your account and you can withdraw your savings to Venmo, PayPal, use them towards gift cards. So here's my Ibotta account and I'm actually going to show you how to scan these receipts and these are just recommended retailers but I have a Target receipt that I scanned last week so I'm going to click on Target and I'm going to hit upload receipt and it says between 11.15 and 11.22 but mine was from the week before that but I'm just going to show you how to do it. So I scan my receipt and then I hit finish. However, since I've already uploaded it, it's not going to go through. Another cool thing is that you can go to your favorite store and see what deals are having so I like to use Tide Pods and this one I can actually get three dollars back so all I do is hit that little plus there and it's added into my account so when I scan my receipt I will get three dollars back. So be sure to click the link in the description box below, download the Ibotta app and get your $20 sign up bonus. Thank you so much again Ibotta for sponsoring this video. All right dolls, now we're going to get into this video. If you are not subscribed, please be sure to hit that subscribe button and that bell notification to be notified when I upload videos. All right dolls, let's get into this video. Okay dolls, so to first get started, I'm taking my Marc Jacobs Beauty Undercover Perfecting Primer and applying that over my face. And then I'm taking my Urban Decay Stay Naked Weightless Foundation in the shade 41NN and applying that all over my face. Now I'm taking my Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder and setting my whole face with this powder except for my eyelid space. Going in with my Benefit Cosmetics 3D Brow Tones Instant Highlight Color, applying that over my brows. And then taking Kat Von D 24 Hour Super Brow Longwear Pomade. This is where I'm going to start shaping my brows and adding the tail end of my brows. Once complete, I'm taking my Marc Jacobs Beauty Electric Palette in the shade Tonight. And I'm going to start carving my cut crease. I'm using a very thin eyeliner brush for this. And using a small smudge brush, I'm going to start blending that black out. Then going in with a smaller blending brush, I'm then going to start blending that black out even more. So I'm doing this in small steps so it looks really smooth because black is a pretty difficult color to work with. Then I'm taking a fluffy brush and I'm using my Marc Jacobs Beauty Electric Palette again and using the shade Feel. This is more of a taupe color and I'm just setting that on top of that black. So like I'm slowly building the color. In that same palette, I'm taking the shade The Rhythm and working this closer to my crease as well. and then blending that out once more. Now I'm taking my pre-shadow primer from Carity and I'm going to apply that and then start carving out this crease. Thank you. 
Now I'm taking Rock Out, and this is like a really light, sort of white pastel pink, and applying that on my lid space. This color is really going to give us that mod look. Then going back in with Tonight and that small thin liner brush, I'm then going to define that crease once more. And then I'm just blending it out slightly with that same brush. And now taking my Marc Jacobs Beauty Highliner in the shade Pink of Me, I'm going to apply that on my waterline. And then taking the Rhythm and only lining the outer portion of my lower lash line. This is the Lorella Cosmetics Highlight in Bougie. And this is the Sweet Street Cosmetics Eyeliner in Wing Queen. And I'm just going to create a really dark, dramatic wing. Taking my Urban Decay Heavy Metal Glitter Gel in the shade Distortion, I'm going to apply that over the pink just to give it some sparkliness to it. And I'm finishing that with some mascara. For blush, I'm taking my Marc Jacobs Omega Bronzer Coconut Perfect Tan and also applying that on my forehead. Then going with my J Cat Beauty Blush Molo in the shade Dolly Peachy. For lashes, I'm taking my Miss Lashes in M368, and I've actually doubled these up, so this is two pairs of lashes. Going back in with Bougie, applying that as my highlight. And then topping that off with some mascara on my lower lash line. For lips, I'm taking my Everlasting Lip Liner by Kat Von D in the shade Hawkwind and outlining my lips and then just shading the edges a little bit more. Going with Profusion Cosmetics Matte Lip Cream, this is in the shade Swoon. And this actually comes in a trio set. And setting all my makeup with my Urban Decay All Nighter Foundation. So here is the final makeup look. Moving on to hair, I'm taking my Hot Tools Professional Curling Iron. This is a one inch curling iron and I'm only going to flip out the ends. So this is just really quick to do. And once I'm done curling each section, I'm going to take this rat tail comb. I got this from VintageHairStyling.com and just start teasing my hair. And this is what we're going to do for every section until we get to the front. And once I'm finished with the side sections, I like to move on to the back section. And we're going to curl until we get all the way actually past our crown. Normally I stop at the crown, but we're going to go a bit further this time because we want our hair to be big and just to have that 60s vibe to it. So as you can see, I went almost to the front, but this little front portion is going to be where we lay down our bangs. So once I've smoothed everything out, I'm going to hit it with some hairspray. And then this section, I'm going to part it, whatever side you want to part, you can. And then I'm going to flatten both sides down and then pin them with bobby pins so they don't move. And set it with some hairspray. 
Now I'm taking this nylon hair scarf that I got on eBay. You can just search nylon hair scarf on eBay or Etsy and plenty will pop up. And then just spraying some hairspray. So here's the final hair and makeup look. Moving on to accessories. I got these really cute white earrings at Target. I think they were like $10. They're so cute, I had to get them. And for outfit, this is from Fashion Nova. This is the Repping Suspender Flare Pants in mustard. And I paired it with this Betty Page clothing cropped peasant top that I got at Dapper Day. I didn't, on the website, they don't have a catalog. So I think you, they might just have to go to a store where they sell Betty Page clothing. Um, but this is the final look. I do have some shapewear underneath, so you can't see through the jumpwear. And this is my cute poodle purse that i got from elsewhere vintage so here is the final look i really love this outfit and the romper or the jumper is so comfy so here is the final look i hope you dolls really enjoyed this look i really wanted to do a cut crease again it's been a while but thank you dolls so much for your support i love you and i will see you soon bye